All right, now on to the video. 10 things you need to know to prepare your home for the winter. If you're like us and you're in a cold weather state, there are certain things that you're gonna wanna do to make sure that your home operates properly and most efficiently in the winter. Number one, if you have a furnace or a boiler, make sure to check that it's operating as efficiently as possible. This is very, very important to do in the fall so that throughout the winter, your bills are as low as they can be. Number two, and this is for those that have fires in their house, in their fireplace, schedule a chimney cleaning. Make sure that your chimney is operating uh, in a safe manner so that you don't have any issues going forward. Number three, clean your gutters, especially on those half story homes where the attic spaces can get a little bit smaller and tighter. Gutters being jammed full of leaves and debris can often lead to ice dams and cause further more structural issues with your house in the future. Number four, check your smoke and carbon monoxide detectors. When your furnace is running, there's a lot of natural gas being used by that unit. So to know how much CO it's emitting and if it's actually an issue is very, very important. So make sure to check all those smokes, all those COs, and that they're operating at the levels that they should be. Number five, have a company come and audit your house to find if you're losing any heat. Common places that this happens are up in an attic if there's not enough insulation or at the rim joist in the basement if it's not insulated again properly. You can save on your monthly bill by being smart about keeping the heat inside your house in the winter. Six, stock up on emergency supplies. I'm not saying be a doomsday prepper, but in certain situations, it's good to be prepared in case a really bad storm hits. Make sure you have canned foods, things like that, but also that you have options to uh, make sure your home is heating that maybe your furnace is not functioning. Seven, maintain the trees on your property. Very similar to the gutter conversation, but making sure that your trees are trimmed and away from your house is important because they won't drop as many leaves onto your roof and into your gutters, and you'll have less chance to have an ice dam. Number eight, and again, kind of in the same vein, but keep the snow and the ice clear from areas it shouldn't be in. Make sure your gutters aren't packed full of ice. If you're having problems with ice building up on your roof or in your gutters, just using a roof rake can really solve a lot of your problems. Number nine, and this is for older homes, but prevent your pipes from bursting. If you have pipes in your home uh, that are in areas that are a little bit colder, oftentimes this can be found in a basement or underneath a dishwasher in an older home with not enough insulation. You don't want your pipes to burst. It will be a massive headache for you in the winter. So make sure that the heating is keeping all of your pipes at proper temperatures. Number 10, reverse your ceiling fans. In the winter, you're gonna wanna push the hot air down because it's gonna have a natural tendency to rise to the top of the room. So it's gonna be very helpful in making sure that your, your house stays super comfortable. So there you have it. 10 things you can do to make sure your house is prepared for the winter. Here in Minnesota, this is a very important topic. So I hope this was helpful for you. And the more that you do this, the better chance your home works really well for you long term. If you like this video, tap the bell so you get notified when we post future videos. Throw us a like, comment, ask us questions. We'd love to chat.